Okay, so we're going to take this X Pro Heli out back for its maiden. It's 2.14 kilograms. That's 4.72 pounds. I have the 4,500 milliamp lipo on there and I have my Hero 2 directly mounted to the landing gear. Now Kevin will actually be flying with the Hero 3 and the brushless gimbal with the X-Pro Heli but I wanted to at least do just a quick test with it directly mounted to the frame. Zip tie, I realize that's not the best way to do this but normally like with my QAV and others when I first get a frame and build it I mount the camera directly to the quad with no vibration dampening just to see how it looks. So I'll take it up for a quick maiden and then we'll take a look at the footage. Now it's a little bit windy in Austin today and 28 degrees so I'm not going to stay outside too long but you know enough to get a couple minutes of footage and then uh, bring it back down. Okay we're waiting for good satellite coverage and when we have it we'll arm and take it up in the air. See the wind picking up a little bit. I'll just do a quick 360 rotation view. We'll just spin it around and then we'll bring it back down. Oh, we just lost a foam vibration. I thought we lost the battery, but we just lost one of the foam vibration dampeners that sit on the landing gear. That's always a little nerve-wracking. So let's go take a look at the footage. Okay, so let's talk about what I learned with the Backyard Maiden. Now that wasn't a very long flight, nor very complicated. I just took it up, spun it around, and then brought it back in. But these guys, you definitely need to mount those on. This thing came falling to the ground and I thought it was the LiPo because I've had a LiPo fall out of my quad before and it's not pretty. So maybe make the, sure those are zip tied. Now regarding the video footage, there was definitely more jello than I expected. For those of you who have followed my channel, you'll have seen all sorts of experiments with the TBS and my GoPro Hero 2 and just working with vibration dampening. It's definitely not recommended to mount your GoPro directly to your landing gear with a zip tie. Once again, that's what I always do when I first get a frame and try it out just to get a feel for uh, what the vibrations are like. Just keep in mind that if you're using this landing gear you're going to need some further vibration dampening and the X-Pro Heli guys actually sell a gimbal for the Hero 2 and Hero 3. But first thing we want to do is get Kevin so that he can fly this and then we'll follow up just with some techniques to hopefully get this video more vibration free. This thing flies incredible partially due to the NASA and its capabilities but uh, definitely a good build. Once again, the video needs some work, but now I'm ready to deliver this to Kevin and let him start learning how to fly it. And thank you to all of you who provided commentary on this. There was a very colorful discussion about the price of this build and you know where parts are manufactured and, and so on and so forth. But um, at the end of the day, it's, it's been a great learning experience for myself. Hopefully it has been for you guys. And until next time, thanks for watching.